Now, in high definition, from Western North Carolina's news leader, this is News 13 This Morning. And we begin this morning with continuing coverage in West Asheville. Police are investigating a multiple stabbing at a bar on Haywood Road. We are being told several people were injured. This is a developing and breaking story this morning. It certainly is. Good morning to you. It is Thursday, April 5th. News 13 Cheryl Barber is going to join us live from the scene in just a minute. But first, Julie, we've got some possible breaking weather news happening too. We do some heavy rain moving in today and possibly another round of severe weather. And we have a cool down in the forecast. You need to pay attention for the next two days because you might be surprised what we get in the late afternoons. It is not going to be quite as hot. Here's your Harry's Buick GMC bus stop forecast 57 today. We will be watching for storms just ahead in your Skywatch forecast. I'll talk about the shift in your weather pattern and what two systems are coming together to keep us so unsettled. And police are instigating a multiple stabbing at a bar on Haywood Road. That's right. News 13 Cheryl Barber has been live in West Asheville all morning. Cheryl, what do we know about the victims right now? Well, it happened right here at Mike's side pocket. And what we know about the victims are is that a man walked into this bar, according to police, and started stabbing people and that four people were injured. Police say they got the call around 4 or 9 p.m. last night that a fight was taking place at Mike's. They say the suspect was at the bar earlier in the day and was told to leave because he was drunk. At some point, he returned back to the bar, and that's when the fight began. Uh, police arrived and found several victims who appeared to have been beaten or stabbed. The victim or the suspect attempted to flag down the bus and, and get on the bus, and the bus stopped but did not allow them on. And, of course, we, we, uh, we took all the witnesses from the bus, transferred them to another city bus, and have taken them to the police department to be interviewed. Police have spent the night processing three scenes, one in the bar and two outside. They say three of the four were taken to Mission Hospital. A fourth victim was treated inside the bar. Right now, police are not commenting on the conditions of the victims. That's because they're trying to interview the victims and witnesses, and they say some of the next of kin have not been notified. Now, police say that they have a suspect in custody, but they have not yet released his name. They say that they'll have much more information later today. Um, and after those notifications to the families are made. Reporting live in Asheville, I'm Cheryl Barber, News 13. And Cheryl, real quick, about an hour ago, there was a lot of action behind you. We could still see a lot of those police cars. Has that scene been cleared right now? Yes, it has. Uh, they blocked uh, Haywood Road between Michigan Avenue and uh, Swannanoa Street uh, for uh, several hours last night. It was uh, actually until this morning. Uh, they got all their evidence together or what they needed to do, and they all departed. Uh, we also noticed that police took custody of a motor scooter at a garage right near here, and um, basically that was uh, the number of scenes uh, that they have to process here. Two outside the bar, one inside the bar. Reporting live in Asheville, I'm Cheryl Barber, News 13. All right, Cheryl, thanks so much. Now, another story that we've been following is that massive chemical spill on I-26. Right now, I-26 eastbound is still closed between East Flat Rock and Saluda. The detour is exit 53 at Upward Road to U.S. 176 West to U.S. 25 South into South Carolina. Then take SC-11 back to I-26. Westbound lanes of I-26 are indeed open. The cleanup continues on I-26 this morning, more than 24 hours after the huge chemical spill. A tanker truck carrying thousands of gallons of sulfuric acid crashed and then caught fire. It happened on the Peter Geist Memorial Bridge in the Green River Gorge. And 911 operators were flooded with phone calls as they watched the tanker truck crash. About 1,500 gallons of sulfuric acid, a highly corrosive material that is used in batteries, spilled when the truck overturned. I saw a huge crash across this bridge on a river on Highway 26. It's a hazardous materials truck laying on its side and it's on fire. It didn't even look like nobody was trying to help the driver or nothing. I hope he ain't trapped in it. The driver of the truck, Alan Thomas Van Dam, survived the crash but was injured. As for the spill, officials say since it happened in a remote area, it is manageable. But the bad news, it happened on a bridge. There is concern the sulfuric acid could weaken the steel or contaminate the groundwater below. Crew spent Wednesday testing both. 
Now let's find out about the rest of your morning commute. And for that, here's George Sheldon. Good morning, George. Well, good morning, Jay. And I'll tell you what, locally we're looking pretty good right now with accident-free conditions. And except for I-26, I-40, I-240, I-26 around the Madison County area and, and heading uh, into Tennessee looking pretty good. Downtown Asheville, Rankin Avenue between College Street and Walnut Street will be closed uh, for loading roof materials today, 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. And that's going to be every day till April the 20th. And also in uh, Tennessee, and also uh, connecting to Haywood County, westbound I-40, at exit 451 on the Tennessee side of I-40, that's called Waterville Road. It is still down to one lane until May the 15th, so you're going to have to watch for delays back into North Carolina on I-40. With your new search team, the Wired Mouse Computer Solutions Traffic Report, I'm George Sheldon.